What's going on everybody, you have Tone here, back with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, this time bringing you guys week 2 of BBR Daily Season number 1, where this week we are taking on Oboe and his Ga Grand Rapids, called Dango, excuse me, uh, his links and stuff will be in the description down below, be sure to check him out as well as all the other coaches taking part in the BBR Daily. If you guys missed the team motor, there will be a link to that as well, so you can check out what we're bringing, why we're bringing it, all that stuff. Um, in terms of the six I'm expecting him to bring, I'm expecting the Chen Pao, Garchomp, Cinderace, uh, Klefki, Gengar, and maybe the Quaquaval. Um, and... Uh, no Gengar! Oh, thank god. <laughs> If it was one Pokemon I was worried about, it was going to be that Gengar, as, uh, we have, um, <laughs> sirens in the background, my apologies. Um, but thank god there's no Gengar. <laughs> okay, so my lead is going to remain the same. Um, I'm going to lead off with my, uh, Meowscarada. Um, hopefully I can catch the, at the very least, catch the Klefki. Oh, no, no, not the Klefki, the, uh, Chen Pao, if he leads off with that. So uh, yeah, I'm really really happy to not see Gengar on this on this um on my screen. So Champao, Klefki, Garchomp, Garchomp, Quaquaval, Toad Scroll, and Cinderace. I really thought he was gonna bring the Gengar, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man. <laughs> Let me write the rest of this down. Uh, Klefki. Uh, Garchomp. Quaquaval. Alright, cool. Alright, so there we go. So, good luck, have fun to uh, Oboe. Hopefully this is going to be a great matchup. Hopefully, well, I, I can't really say good luck and all that stuff. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we see the Theodore lead, which is the Toad Scroll. Okay, perfect. That is actually fine by me. Um, so I'm assuming he just want to get up his spikes here. Or try to spore or something. Um, I can just um, click knock off into U-turn actually. So let's do that. He's probably just gonna get up his um his spikes here. He may be expecting me to lead off with Garg to get up rocks. Or um my Gastrodon, which makes sense. Um he can't spore this at the very least. Um so the main thing I have to do is just try to weaken uh, I can find a way to get up my own spikes, but I don't know if this is a... Uh... Oh, he's, he switched out. DJ Khaled. Okay, straight into the Klefki. Okay, we get the knockoff on that. That was a crit. Damn. <laughs> As we knock off the leftovers, so he's not like Clay, so that's a good to know. Um... And... Hmm, let's just go for Flower Trick here. Flower Trick should easily lead to a KO. We know he's not, um... He could still be Reflector Light Screen with, um, with only five turns. This is also me losing my Sash on the... on the Meowscarada, but at the same time, it's not like I'm that weak. I'm not fully weak to Chen Pao, as long as I keep my Hariyama healthy in the back. Hmm. So I'm expecting him to maybe get up a layer of spikes here. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I'm assuming he just got up a layer of spikes here. I uh, had a little bit of issue there. Um, but I'm going to flower trick again here. Um, so this is probably what's going to break my sash here with a dazzling ring. We play roughs. Alright, I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. Because this being gone means that my path is now freed up. 
And by freed up, I mean specifically that he cannot um, Thunder Wave me. Um, he also put me in Overgrow range, so if he switches out, <laughs> something's going to take a huge hit from this flower trick. So I'm expecting him to just go for another layer. Like, he's really debating this play right now. Alright, again, having a little bit of difficulty here. Um, but he did give me the Klefki, thankfully. Um, so, now, what am I going to let this thing... Uh, this still has some use to me, so I'm just going to go out into my... Um, my response to this being my Hariyama. So Meow Skarada KO's Klefki. Um hmm. So yeah, my Spathro is looking pretty good right now. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly he's deciding to do with, um, uh, not with the Chen Pao, with, um, alright, so, he is going to stay in, he's probably just going to go for like a Ice Spin or Ice Go Crash, I'm just going to go over to Hariyama, take the spikes, he is just going to terrestrialize here. Terra Dark. My Terra Electra doesn't make any sense in this matchup. Yeah. There we see the Terra Dark. He's Sacred Swords. And it does nothing. Okay. So now we Drain Punch. Hmm. I'm surprised he has Sacred Sword actually. I thought for sure he'd be like dual staff, like straight up. <laughs> I really thought he'd be um um ice shard, ice spinner, crunch, and sucker punch. That's what I really thought he'd be. Um, seeing Sacred Sword is a real surprise here. So he's gonna switch out, mm. Gary. Gary the Garchomp, okay. So he Drain Punch there for... I crit him again, oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's a bit excessive. <laughs> um, does my guard... Oh, yeah, my guard still has some usage. Uh, let's just go out into my Gastrodon here. Man, I, I mean, as, I, like putting Flower Trick aside, I am getting a lot of crits in this game early on. Imagine if I raw ice punched. I probably should have. It's it wasn't part I, the Champau wasn't part ice type. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. It's all right. So let's see. Via goes straight for the earthquake or rocks. He is just gonna earthquake. I cannot tell by the damage if that's offensive or not. I mean, it looks offensive. He could be Yachi Berry. Um, me not getting up spikes is going to hurt a bit, but I do think if I can chip everything down, it's alright. So, I will just go straight for my Ice Beam here. If he's Yachi, he's Yachi. That's, I'm okay with that. <laughs> he is going to withdraw. I'm assuming the Quaqua Ball is going to come in here. Timothy. Is that the Quaqua Ball? Yes, it is. And I'm expecting him to go for a close combat here. Hmm, do I make the hard read into Pulp, though? If he Ice Spinners, to me, that's kind of bad. Hmm. I also want to keep the Gastro around. 
Like if he's ice spinner, he ice. If he ice spinners me, he ice spinners. Like there's nothing I can do about that. Ugh. Hmm. I'm trying to think what kind of set this could be. If he's like four attacks, wave crash, close combat, ice spinner, rapid spin. But well, it's hard to say what the spinner could be on this team. It could be Quackleball or Toad Scroll for the most part. And I could chip something early with my um, Chen Pao. I mean, my Chen Pao, my Espathra if I need to. But you should Ice Spinner. He close combats, alright. I am okay with that. This gives me a free sub now. Well, it's not free if he stays in. <laughs> but I do like the idea of getting information out of his um the rest of his team, so I'm just gonna go for a sub here. If he stays in, he's not choice and he has ice spinner, then he's gonna go for it. And him giving me Cluffy so early on means that my Dragon Pulses are also free, so that's good. That's also good to note. Okay, so he is going to just um, Ice Spinner. That means he's not choiced with the um with this then, which is good. Um hmm, do I just dragon pulse this for damage? <sighs> I'm trying to think. I don't think I live ice spinner though, and if I do, then I just dragon pulse again. Yeah, that seems like the best play. So I don't want anything else to take the damage here. I Yo, what is up with these crits? <laughs> yeah, okay, so he took me out. Maybe I live if I didn't sub, but I wanted the information of whether or not he was um, Scarf or not. So, Quackleval's gonna take out my Pult. Um, but this does give me a free switch back into my... Um, into my Meowsterod, and I get to click um, Overgrow Flower Trick now. Uh, so, Quackleval... Chaos, Dragon, Pult. I wonder if I lived Ice Spinner if I didn't sub there. Actually, this was probably a bad play. Uh, what if he has Aqua Jet? Damn. Damn, damn. I, I should have went as Pathra. This was a bad play. This is a bad play. This was definitely a bad play. I should have went as Pathor and, and clicked um, Lumina Crash. That was a better play. Urgh, if he has Ice, if he has Aqua Jet, if he has, if he has Aqua Jet, that was a terrible play. He doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Darwin Nunez. <laughs> Hard Cinderace. He's giving me chip on everything, though. I really don't want to go Hariyama again, though. Um, he could also Sucker Punch. This is tough. This is real tough. Do I let Meowskarada go down, though, is the question. The answer is no. Um, if anything, I can go into my... Um, I can go Garganackle, actually. Yeah, so let's do that. There's no, there's no need to tempt fate here, because I can take another layer- I can cut, switch back in with another layer of spikes. So let's go into Garg. U-turn or Sucker Punch. He does Sucker Punch. Perfect. He's also not- he's also not Libero, which is good information as well. So I am now going to click... Hmm... 
Do I Earthquake or do I Ice Punch is the question. I could also just hard salt cure if I wanted. But I think the I think the play is just a salt cure. Cause if he goes if he high jump kicks, he high jump kicks. I know for, I know he's now um he's not um He's not Libero. That's good information. So he goes back into Theodore. <laughs> so we salt cure this. Salt, salt, salt. You see he's leftovers, good information. Now I hope and I'm really hoping he goes for spore here. I'm hoping he goes for spore here. If he Giga Drains or Earth Powers, I'm okay with that. But he can't take me out in one hit. That's the thing. That's the main thing to take into account. He can't take me out in one. Please go for Spore. Please assume I'm like defensive or something. If he doubles into Quaqua Vol though, that's a problem. <laughs> that just gives him Ace again. Please just 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 do anything but switch. <laughs> he energy balled. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> not what I not what I wanted, but I'll take it. All right. So we have Garg. Chaos, Toad Scroll. All right. <laughs> All right, perfect. So I don't have to worry about nothing else getting spored on my team. That's perfect. Um. So I guess he goes back into Chen Pal now. Uh, things are looking actually pretty good for Hariyama. <laughs> Cause that was yeah. Cause everything else on this team now is is um are physical attackers. <laughs> this is actually really really good now for Hariyama. He goes back into Diego. Uh, does he crunch though? Like, do I need Garg now? Um. I feel like keeping guard, but at the same time, what do I sack? Is the question. I feel like Hariyama is such an obvious play, and I don't want to go hard into it. Um. No, I'm still fine against. I'm still fine against in the race because I can still protect and Terra and all that stuff. So yeah. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. that works. That works. That works. I, I sack guard. I sack guard. Okay, he- oh, okay, Sacred Sword for if case I was Iron Defense, of course, that makes sense, yeah. Alright, perfect, 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 that makes the most sense. Like, I, I, I was trying to debate, like, why were- why is he Sacred Sword, and if I was- if I was Iron Defense Body Press, that makes the most sense, so yeah. Uh, good bring. Um, I go back into Hariyama now, and I click Drain Punch, because he has no Fighting Resist. Uh, Chen Pao... KOs... Uh, Garg... And now I drain. Do this free chip on everything. And free recovery. Alright, you can tear a dark crunch, but I live that guaranteed. And if you go guard chomp, I just I, I drain punch into bullet punch. Yeah, and if I get if I get rid of Chen Pao, yeah, he's just gonna switch. Um, he he really he needs Chen Pao for um, his Pathra, so he goes back into Garchomp. Good, so that's free. That's, that's more recovery for me. Um, I don't know if Bullet Punch kills though. From that range of HP, it doesn't look like it does. Uh. Uh, 
what do I want to stack instead? I would prefer sacking Garchomp. I mean, I would prefer sacking uh, Gastro, actually. I don't know if this is Scarf, though. I don't know if he's Scarf. I'd rather not risk me not getting the Bullet Punch roll. Yeah, he just has Quakes. So, Gastro goes down here, Garchomp. And now we go into Espathra, and I click Protect. Garchomp KOs uh, Gastro. Okay, I go for I terra and protect. Um, I should be okay. I would have preferred getting damage off on the Chen Pao first, but um, Terra, let me go for protect. There's Terra fighting. We protect to ensure that we're faster than Scarf Chomp. Yeah, I think the fact that he stayed in means he's Scarf. Alright, so now we go for uh, Terra Blast here. Terra Blast is definitely the play. So, this Pathra picks up its first kill of the season. Very nice. Alright. This uh, Pathra. Kaos. Garchomp. Um, the thing is, does my. Does Terra Blast KO Chen Pao from full? Hmm. I feel like if anything, he's going to go into Chen Pao right now. Darwin Nunez. No, he goes Ace instead. Um. I know you're not Blaze. I mean, I know you're not Libero. So you can get your chip off, if anything. Um... Yeah, I'm okay with that. Illumina Crash. Wait, you can Sucker Punch, but it's resisted. Oh, he is Libero! Then wait, I'm confused. confused now. Oh, it's because Sucker Punch failed that it didn't trigger. Okay. I'm stupid. Sucker Punch failed, so it didn't- Okay, I could've Terra Blasted for free. That's my fault. Oh, I forgot about that. That was a throw. Actually, no, it's not a, it's not a throw. It's not a throw. I can still win with Hariyama. I can still win with Hariyama, it's fine. Oh, I could have Terra Blasted for free. That was a dumb play. Sucker Punch failed because I switched, so it didn't activate Libero. That was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. Yep, and now I'm in Ice Shard range. <laughs> Okay, I, I deserve that. I deserve that. I completely blanked on um sucker on on that like 
exchange there. Yeah, he goes Chen Pao now and it clicks Ice Shard. I probably would have been a lot higher HP. A lot higher HP if I, um... If I didn't just do what I did there. Terror Blast was super free. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, Chen Pao KOs his path roll. Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I actually do that? As as, as could have actually swept if I if I clicked uh, Terra Blast, <laughs> I probably killed. I should. I think I killed too. But oh my god, that was a dumb play. <laughs> oh Lord of Mercy. <laughs> I threw my Spathler away so stupidly. <laughs> I can I'm, I'm I'm laughing, but I can only blame myself. I can just I, I should have just terror blasted. Like what did I lose from terror blasting? If he sucker punch I made him dark type. Like why did I risk it? <laughs> if I lived Ice Shard, I literally won with a Spathler right there. And now he's debating whether he should um, sack Quaquavol, I believe. But if he sacks, then yeah. So now I drain. <laughs> Kill him. All right. So uh, Hariyama KOs um, Chen Pao, um, and all he has left is the Quaquavol. Um, he's not- he wasn't Life Warp, so I just Drain Punch again. Oh boy. <laughs> this Pathler could've had four kills, man. <laughs> he legit could've had four- she legit could've had four kills. Please don't kill. Ah, GG. Good- good bring though. Good stuff, Aqua stuff. And that's going to be a 2-0 win in favor of the Miami Palafins. Hariyama doing what I expected it to do, walling the Chen Pao. And we pick up our first W as a member of the Miami Palafins. So GG to Oboe. That was... <laughs> man, that was a that was a wild ride for me. Uh, <laughs> I really threw away that Espathra, man. Espathra could have been four kills, man. <laughs> I'm really mad about that. <laughs> oh my god, I was... I was I was really like <laughs> on the edge of my seat there after I threw away the Espathor on the Sucker Punch. I was like, <laughs> I really blanked on the mechanic of Libero because the move failed until I thought it was Blaze. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, shoutouts to Hariyama though, pick, doing what I expected it to do and switching into that Chien Pao, um, doing in the work and then in picking up the last kill. It did help that most of his team was physically offensive. And him giving me Clefty so early on just opened up so many of my other mods, especially my Espathra. Like, Espathra would have been able to do what it did had I not gotten rid of that Clefty so early. Um, I do also want to apologize for the, um, the brief, like, pauses and whatnot with the video. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen for next time. But, again, GG to my opponent. Um, be sure to check out his links and stuff in the description down below. Be sure to check out, check out all the other coaches uh, taking part in BBR D-League season number one. And yeah, that's going to be it from me. Pick up our first W of the season. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. And until the next time, this is Tone, signing out for now. Peace out.